So today we had him roll through. We had two shoots laid out for him and the chief. We presented them with a challenge to pack the parachute, the C9 canopy, which is not normally seen. It's normally stored in the seat itself. Uh, when it rolls out to maintenance, it's rolled out in a can and no one can tell there's even a chute in there. So what we did is present them the challenge to pack and actually stuff the canopy, which is a very tasking uh, thing to do in our job. So we show them, give them a quick demonstration, then we went ahead and let them go ahead and see who was a better packer. Uh, Chief rolled out on top in the beginning, but in the end they had to work as a team to get that in there. So it was a, it was a nice challenge to see fresh hands get onto the actual parachute and make that attempt to where it might take some of our younger airmen maybe months to actually accomplish, to actually get that, that good technique down to make sure it's safely packed. And there comes out the mortar. And then you pull the pole back. Second thing we had up was the drobe. Again, another forgotten item. It's stowed in the back of the seat, so it's forgotten. But this drogue actually stabilizes the seat. So what we had them do was pack it in a very small compartment. And that compartment is maybe as big of a loaf of bread, half a loaf maybe. And this giant little canopy, that's how we want to describe it, has to get stuffed in there in a very neat fashion without damaging the seat and making sure it's packed accurately because when it deploys, it's got less than a second to function. The last thing we had, we talked about the survival kit, which is attached underneath the seat. It's not seen, it's clipped in. Uh, we went over the life raft, a one-man life raft, we let them go ahead and functional it. Pretty neat, not often seen. Uh, very interesting to see the bottle go and do its purpose. It expanded, created that nice little shape. Uh, we definitely want that to happen because in, in a moment's notice, they need that. And, and if they're over water, they need to climb in as soon as possible to get out of that frigid water. Uh, and then after that, we had them go ahead and assemble a mask. And it's got a ton of little pieces. Normally when the general flies with it, it's all assembled, ready to go. He just clips it in and flies and rocks and rolls, right? Well, for him, this time he had to put it together, had a bit of a struggle, but I think he did a fantastic job. <laughs> Boom. Expert teaching right there. My favorite part of my job is the gratification that comes with it, knowing that what the work we put in, if needed, is gonna work. That's a, a very scary thing to have go on. It is not used often, it's not seen, but when it's gonna happen, it's gonna work. Everything that happens in this building, absolutely critical. It is life and death every time, and it is literally very easy to take for granted.